much have heard of a DWI, drinking while intoxicated, but one woman has just been sentenced to 18 months in prison for breastfeeding while intoxicated. She'll only spend about six months behind bars, but some say this isn't a crime to begin with, while others think this punishment is actually too light. So here to debate are criminal defense attorney Jonna Spillbore and trial attorney Kelly Sane Dunn. Am I saying that right, Kelly? Yes, thank you. Okay, great. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. I've never heard of a case like this before. Me a either. woman was, police were called to a woman's house for a disturbance. They determined that she was drunk while they were there, and she was breastfeeding her child. Child. The dirty little secret, of course, mm -hmm. of many mothers is that sometimes you occasionally have a drink mm -hmm. before breastfeeding. What makes this one punishable by 18 months in prison? I think it's crazy. This is not the same. We, we can't treat this mother as if she put bourbon in the baby bottle, okay? And the police here, it's very interesting. They didn't measure her blood alcohol content like you would do if somebody were getting pulled over. They just assumed, based on her outward symptoms, that she was drunk. Plus, was this a one time? thing or was this something that was going on over the course of many many months we don't know so this I don't think is a crime and they shouldn't be treating it as a crime Jonna 18 months in jail too much a crime or just right actually I think that it is just right I mean you can't say that you don't know she hasn't been monitored if she drank too much got behind a wheel and put the infant in danger five to fifteen percent of the alcohol that she drank passes through in breast milk that's an irrefutable medical fact so you know there's going to be damaging effects to a six-week-old infant just the same as mothers are told not to drink alcohol while pregnant not all I mean the, here's here's where I think it gets fuzzy is doctors sometimes say sure you, you can have a drink I remember my doctor said actually a glass of beer helps milk production it helps the milk come in so I think that the science is all over the place now having said that I will tell you that the police when they showed up at her house let me show you from the police report they say while speaking with Stacy she was extremely intoxicated and began breastfeeding her infant in front of us so they concluded John that this was right. not an isolated incident and that she wasn't just having a little drink she was extremely intoxicated does that change your opinion well there was more going on here she had called herself because her boyfriend apparently had beat her up you know this probably was somebody who had the police come to her house before not because she was drunk so when they took all of the circumstances as a whole okay it was probably good to separate her from her kid however I I have to disagree we don't know the effects of metabolized alcohol on a baby it's not like she was expressing gin and tonics from her bosom okay so so I, and I don't mean to get graphic, but what goes in doesn't come out the same way it comes in. And we have no basis to measure that. We don't need lactation police in this country. We don't. John, are you comfortable with the fact that she'll be separated from her child, her six-week-old at the time, for 18 months? Is there not anything they could have done, a warning, or had some sort of child protective services come in and counsel them, rather than hauling her off to jail for what will end up being six months away from her infant? Absolutely, they could have put her in protective services, but I think, or I'm sorry, had protective services called in, but having her go through this substance abuse program, make sure that she's now able to cope with this domestic abuse, that she's not going to make these bad judgments and put her child at risk. What she was actually charged with was child endangerment. Mm -hmm. So it's just poor judgment affecting the infant who can't speak out for his or herself. Uh, last question, Kelly. Do you think that this has wide-reaching implications? Should mothers around the country be paying attention to this case absolutely because they have to know that someone is going to be looking out for the infant and it's not just a closed door thing that once you expose your behind your closed doors your internal life what's going on and the police come in they have an obligation to protect the infant and that it does have far-reaching effects so that other mothers know that you're being watched. It's not a dirty little secret, like you said. Right. So it's a slippery slope. Are we going to arrest mothers for taking their chubby children to McDonald's after this? It's a very slippery slope. All right, Jonas Philbor and uh, Kelly Sandon, thanks so much for coming in to Thank debate you. it. This will continue. I'd love to hear what you have to say at the blog at foxandfriends.com.